We have already explored common fractions of the form a over b, so now we turn our attention to the other two ways in which we can express fractions, as decimals and as percentages. For a fraction in decimal form, the placement of the decimal point tells us the value of the denominator. Consider a decimal fraction like 7.6524. We say that the 7 is in the 1's column, the 6 is in the 10's column, the 5 is in the 100's column, the 2 is in the 1000's column, and the 4 is in the 10,000's column. Therefore, our overall number is 7 and 6,524 10 thousandths. As this example shows, converting a fraction from decimal to common form requires only recognizing the value of the last digit in the decimal. Let's do a few more examples. 0 0.4 is 4 tenths because the 4 is in the tenths column. 3.15 is 315 over 100 because the last digit, the 5, is in the hundredths column. And 0 0.097 is 97 one thousandths because the last digit is in the thousandths column. To convert a common fraction into decimal form, we simply carry out the division implied by the fraction. For example, 1 fourth is 1 divided by 4 or 0 0.25. Many common fractions cannot be written exactly in decimal form, but instead have an endless repeating pattern of digits. For example, the decimal form of one-third contains an endless string of threes. Mathematically, we can represent repeating digits by putting a bar over them. For example, we can write the decimal form of one-third as 0 0.3 with a bar over the three. In practice, we usually round repeating decimals to one or a few digits. In this case, we might round the decimal form of one-third to 0 0.33. Let's turn to percentages. Remember that percent means divided by 100. You can think of the cent as 100 cents to a dollar. For example, 45% means 45 divided by 100, or 0 0.45. 0.1% means 0.1 divided by 100, which is 1 1,000th, or 0.001. And 125% means 125 divided by 100, or 1 1.25. To go the other way, from a fraction to a percent, we need two simple steps. First, make sure the fraction is in decimal form. For example, if we have the fraction two-fifths, we convert it to decimal form as 0 0.4. We then multiply it by 100%, which means we multiply the 0 0.4 by 100 to make 40 and add the percent sign. This last step will make sense if you remember that 100% means 100 divided by 100, which is just 1, and multiplying a fraction by 1 leaves it unchanged. For reference, here is a summary of the procedures that we've covered.